Chicago Bears photo by Ray Del Rio Getty Images, use your left pointing arrow right pointing arrow arrows, to browse Chicago Bears photo by Dylan Buell Getty Images, the Chicago Bears will have to go the rest of the way without running back Tariq Cohen. What an emotional roller coaster of a season so far. The Chicago Bears have given their fans just about every feeling in the book through just three weeks of the season, and this past Sunday was arguably the most emotional game yet. The game against the Falcons had everything. Starting quarterback Mitchell Trubisky made some nice throws and one heck of a long run at one point, but after a costly interception, Matt Nagy decided to opt for Nick Foles instead. The Bears were down multiple scores in the second half when Foles came into the game, and all he proceeded to do was throw for 188 yards and three touchdowns to lead the Bears to another miraculous victory. Lost in the victory may have been the season for running back Tariq Cohen, though. On a punt return in which he signaled for a fair catch, Cohen was run into and his leg was folded up. The team's worst fears look to be exactly what has happened, after all. Cohen's season could be done with what looked to be either a broken ankle or torn ACL. At first glance, it looked as though his ankle was broken. But, upon rewatching the play, it was pretty clear he grabbed his knee afterwards and the injury was likely to be an ACL. With the Bears starting punt returner and gadget back out, they will have to fill the void somehow. They could decide to bring up Artavis Pierce from the practice squad and also use Cordero Patterson in some creative ways, but Cohen's loss still remains a tough one to bear. With Cohen out, Chicago could look at options outside their own organizations. These three guys make a lot of sense. Use your left pointing arrow right pointing arrow arrows to browse.